Hi folks, welcome back to the shop. Over the years, I've discovered a lot of great tools. Today, I wanna to go over my top 10 tool gift ideas for the handyman or handy woman. I'll have a link to all these items in the description below. Let's get right into it. Number 10, these USA made micro tweezers. You can see here they have their own holder. You just pinch the tweezers to take them out. This holder can be stored on your keychain or on your tool bag. They have a very precise or precision tip on them. You look at these tips, the, the jaws of the teeth on each side actually turn in on each other. So the, the, the two points point towards each other. Excellent for pulling out wood slivers or metal slivers out of your hand. And of course it goes right back in that holder. The holder retains it there. And the tweezers sharp tip is protected by this metal cover. And this hook right here keeps the tweezers in the holder. So you can take it and hang it on your tool bag if you like and have it with you. Anytime you need to pull out a splinter, pull the tweezers out, there you go. Number nine. Now I'm sure a lot of you have seen these non-contact voltage testers. They're very handy where you can test voltage without coming in contact with electricity. Super handy, right? But what if you could get this in the same size but get a full-blown multimeter? You can see here I have a multimeter, it's the same size. I can go over here and test non-contact voltage and get that. But the difference is I can hit this red button, put this in a full auto multimeter mode, plug in this probe, and now I can test both AC and DC voltage. You can see I got 117 volts AC. Also test this continuity automatically. It'll test DC voltage, like it can test your car's voltage. Very handy tool. Once you get this, you'll wonder how you get along without it. Number eight, a stud finder that actually works. Now, chances are you already have a stud finder or the handy person in your life does. Typically, they're made by this company, Zircon. Now, I'm going to show you here real quick the problem with these stud finders. You go to a blank part of the stud wall first, and you have to calibrate it. So I'm going to go over here to the blank part of the stud wall, hold it down, let it calibrate and beep first. It slides slowly over to the stud. And you can see it starts beeping when it gets on center, shines that laser at the top, right? With this stud finder, I can put it anywhere on the stud wall, put it right on the stud, just press the button on top and it has 13 LEDs that tells you where the center is. So there's three lights, but that one in the center, the middle light, is where the center of the stud is. I can put this anywhere on this stud wall and slide over and find it. So it's a stud finder that actually works. I keep this on the truck all the time. Uh, it also has a pencil in it. You can slide out to mark the wall, so it's always on board. If you need to change the batteries, you just slip this top off real quick. It takes standard double A's. has a nice level on there that helps you as well. Another great thing about it is it's assembled and designed in the USA. They do make a smaller version of this. I've tested it and I did not have the success I had with this. This will be a link in the description. This is a stud finder that actually works. Number seven, this Olight Baton 4 flashlight comes with its own charging case. You can operate the light in the charging case by just hitting the button on the front. That button on the front also tells you the charge level of the charging case itself that charges the flashlight. Inside, you have the small flashlight you can pull out, magnetically retained in the case. You can see it just snaps right into place. Supports USB charging for the case. It can also be used as a battery bank. So you can plug this in to this case and you can charge your iPhone. And of course, it's an excellent flashlight in its own right. Turn this light on, you can see it shows you over here the battery level, these three lights, the battery level on the light and on the right side over here, and also turns those lights on when you turn it off. I turn it back on, it shows right here it's on high. If I hold this switch down, go down to low, I just got one green LED over here, it tells me it's on low. Of course, it's got a magnetic tail peak cap on it. So I can magnetically hang this light as a work light. And the other great part about this light that really makes it the best light is that you can take it and clip it on your hat. Hooks on a hat, uh, doesn't, it's not heavy at all, so you can put it on there. You don't even notice you have it on. The switch itself is indexed right where you need it. So you can turn the light on, you can find this easily in the dark. So it has a dual purpose. You don't have to carry a separate hat light. Case can be operated one-handed. Drop in the light, of course it starts charging, tells you it's charging right there with that green LED. The Baton 4 flashlight from Olight. Another thing that's really nice from Olight is they have this O-Link. Works great with the Baton 4. It's a way to mount the light. Comes with a magnet. This has a cutaway in it. You can push this in and hang it on a, on a tool bag or your tool belt or what have you. Or you can take it off and you can mount this light however you want just with that hook to a backpack, you know, put it on your keychain, wear it on your pants, keep a light extra handy. You don't have to go fishing for it. So that's the O-Link from Olight. I'll have a link to that in the description as well. Number six, this Klein Tools 14 in one adjustable screwdriver. Now I have the HVAC version here. It has the flip bits on the end. How does that work? Well, you take a quarter inch screw, you can pop it right in there. It magnetically retains the screw, but I can take this out flip this bit around. Now I have a 5 16th bit on the end of this screwdriver. Flip it back around to a quarter inch, pull it all the way down and just ease it up one notch. Clicks into place. Now I can open up this handle and I have a whole bit carousel here I can pick from with 12 bits. Pull out a bit. You'll see it magnetically goes right into that. Now I'm turning that bit. Now if I push this collar down with my thumb and pull out this shaft, you can see it's indexed. It'll click at several different locations and I can push this out as a long shaft screwdriver. And now if I pull this collar back, goes right back to being a stubby screwdriver. And the other great part is if I pull this collar back, I can take it out. And of course you can put this driver in your impact. I also have the true actual 14 in one adjustable has this bit holder in it. So I've actually bought both, 
but you can get the HVAC version with this one. What I like about this one is you take your bit, you put it in here. Well, this holder actually passes the magnetism to the bit itself. So you can see I can magnetize this bit just by putting it in this driver. If I take this out of the driver, the bit's not magnetic. But if I put the driver on it, now it is magnetic. That's why I have both of these shafts. That's the Klein Tools 1401 adjustable screwdriver. Number five, this Milwaukee M18 or 18 volt inflator. You simply turn it on, connect it to your car tire or truck tire, and you set your desired inflation. So I can hit this plus symbol and just go to it in increments of one. I can hold it down, it'll go in increments of five, or I can hit memory and store the PSI. So that's a target PSI. If I then turn the, hit this button, I'll turn the inflator on and it will inflate whatever the tire is, desired PSI is, and it'll test it three times. Flip it around, take a quick look at the back. You can see here's the hose it attaches. It's a thread on style hose. You can change that out if you want a different style. I like the thread on. That thread on goes with all these different attachments. So you can inflate sports balls, inflatables, or specialized bike tires. All those are right here on the back onboard storage. I can't believe how much I use this inflator. I almost don't use an air compressor at all anymore. That's a Milwaukee M18 inflator. Number four, the DeWalt gyroscopic screwdriver. You can see it has a button here that if I push this button, it starts humming. If I turn it left, it turns left. If I turn right, it goes right. Automatically knows based on the position of my hand. So gyroscopic screwdriver okay gyroscopic technology if i push this button you can move this handle turn it into a pistol grip if you look at the business end here you have a cut on the end like a standard impact nice led light ring in the front if i pull this cut out i can take out the bit the nice thing about this is you don't have to pull that cut out to put the bit in it just pushes in automatically and if i push this cut down to take it out it kind of springs the bit out so i can just pull it out. I don't have to use two hands. Very nice tool from DeWalt. Excellent gyroscopic features. You can see here that has the green LEDs that tells you the charge of the battery. Also has a clutch on this particular model. I'll have a link in the description. That's going to save you from damaging the work. So really can't go wrong with this guy. Has an eight volt battery that's rechargeable in the base of the screwdriver. Just take it out, pop it in the charger. Light starts blinking. We're charging up. Get right back into the driver. Excellent tool from DeWalt. The DeWalt gyroscopic screwdriver. Number three, the Klein Tools work light. Why is this light great? Well, that's because it can be positioned three different ways. The light can stand up, the light can hang, and it's got a little carabiner here that cuts away to let you to hang it on something. It can also be mounted magnetically, right? What's the other killer feature about it that makes it a great work light? The head of this light can pivot, right? You might say, well, why does that matter? Well, if you hang this light up, for example, and you put it like, say, on a piece of uh, electrical wire between two stud panels, where well, the light might not be shining where you want it to. Well, you can just pivot this if you want to shine to the back, pivot it to shine to the front. You can take this and maybe position it up so it's shining straight down. Again, pivot the light. It's got all those different positions. Now, how does it work? It's got a button here on top. We press it on. I tap it again. It goes to a lower mode. Um, if I just hold this button down, it shows me the charge of the light. You can see I've got three bars. It's not fully charged. Um, another great thing about this is if I open the side here, you can see it's got a port for USB charging, but it also has this USB-A port that's for charging up other devices. So this can be used as a battery bank. And for example, I can charge anything. So I have this O-Light charging case. I can put it on there. So if I turn this light on, I turn it on, turn the light off. Now this flashlight is charging this O-Light charging case. You can see the little lightning bolt right there. It's the best all around work light there is on the market. Number two, this Klein Tools outlet tester. Now you might've seen one of these outlet testers, something like this. Of course you can plug it in, gives you two yellow lights. If you pull it back, you have to read the front here to see if it's good or not. The two yellow lights means it's wired correctly. All right, but they have this Klein Tools tester where you can push this button and you have to hold it down and turn it on, which is great. So it doesn't automatically turn on. And of course it's zeroed out. No information on it. I can take this, plug it into that same receptacle. It's either going to give me green or red. You see, I've got a green light. It's wired correctly. Great thing about this is you pull it out. It has a hold feature. So it tells me it's 122 volts, that it's wired correctly. And of course, the green light is still flashing. And if I hit this button, it'll reset it back to zero. Now, if it were incorrect, it would give me the specific details on the display. And it has a test button here for GFCI. So that's a Klein Tools GFCI tester. Number one, it's this Victoria Knox nail clippers. Very compact, portable clippers. If I take this and flip up the handle, it'll flip up and go all the way around. And now I have a pair of functional nail clippers. Excellent to have with you and keep with you all the time. Very inexpensive. Flip it back. Stores really well. Very well made by the Victoria Knox people. You can see there we got the old Swiss Army logo on it. So excellent pair of nail clippers. Great to have on you all the time. Uh, great for travel, you name it. So that's number one, the Victoria Knox nail clippers. Well, there you have it, folks. That's my top 10 tool gift ideas for the handyman or handy woman. I'll have a link to all these items in the description below. Let me know what you think in the comments of these tool gift ideas. Let me know if they were helpful. Please remember to like and subscribe. All those actions help me to continue to bring content to you on this channel. And with that said, I'll see you in the next video.